Hello Battlefield fans, Watch out here, welcome to another episode of uh, Battlefield 4 multiplayer sessions. Uh, today we are playing Domination on Dawnbreaker and we are using the SG553. I was I was debating, I, I wanted to use the, the Ace 21 which is pretty good, but uh, you know I've been running this session with the with the SG so I decided just to continue with it. Uh, I like the SG a lot, it's pretty good. And uh, this gameplay, it's, uh, it's a decent one, it's pretty good, uh, chaotic. I, lo I like when the, when, the, when the games are like that, it's crazy, you know, a lot of shooting and, and caption flies, so pretty, pretty good. So today we're going to talk about guns. Guns, the best weapon. That's, uh, that's something, that's something right there. What is, which one is the best gun? And uh, let me tell you something. I... I believe there's not such thing as the best weapon in, in the game or any game. But in this case we're gonna talk about Battlefield 4. I don't believe there's such there's such thing as best weapon. Because people tend to put a label on their favorite gun. Just because it's your favorite or just because it's my favorite doesn't make it the best. It's my favorite because maybe it fits my game style. Maybe the game what's that I play, that gun works good but it doesn't make it the best so I have a little example uh, if you go ahead and use for example the, the FAMAS the FAMAS is pretty good in, in this game uh, fire rate is about 1000 so it shoots really fast that thing is king at a close range you know you, you can't beat that fire rate so it's not the best but it's pretty good at you know close range so you know you, chances are you're going to win a lot of, uh, a lot of fights when you're at a close range, but if you put that gun against a long range, against uh, something that is more accurate, so let's say the AK-5C versus Vermont, a long range shot, the AK-5C is going to win that one because it has better accuracy, so you have better chances to kill the guy because you're able to hold on the trigger and put more rounds on the other guy, you know, with, with the Vermont while he's trying to burst fire because that gun you know uh, it has some crazy kick and you have to control it not so much with the AK-5C so therefore the FAMAS stops being the super gun there and the other one takes over and so on with all the other guns in the game so in the end uh, there's not such thing as the best weapon it's it's always your favorite gun that suits your game style where you're a rusher where you're defending you know we always tend to pick guns there's some guns in between you know, um, different things change. Let's say, like whatever you like, maybe uh, faster fire rate, slower fire rate. You know, faster fire rate has pros and cons. So it's the other one. So a gun that shoots really, really fast, you need to be really accurate. You know, uh, you're gonna run out of ammo really quick. Uh, you have to keep those things in mind. Well, a gun that has a slower fire rate, you know, uh, you shot more accurate. Um, Probably if you are in you know, one of those one v one against a gun that shoots really fast, hmm, chances are you're going to lose that. So I think each gun has pros and cons, and and it all depends on how we use it. So if you have a gun that uh, has a slow fire rate, maybe you need to find its uh, a strong point. What is the strong point of a let's say what's it called the Type 91? Type is it Type 91 B something? Uh, I think fire rate is about six, 650, if I'm not mistaken, kind of slow, you know, compared to, let's say, the SG553 or the ACWR, which is about 800 or 800 plus, whatever. So, 650 against 800 at close range, well, do the math, right? But if you look the, you know, the, the strong point of the, of the Type 95, it's 95 or 91, I think it's Type 95, whatever the number is. You know, it's really good accurate and you have better chances to kill these guys on long range. Because you have better accuracy. So I believe it's, it's all about finding that strong point and that weak point of, of the guns. And that's what you come across with uh, really good guns. I don't know if it ever happened to you where, where you're using a certain gun and you believe it's the best one. Then you come here to YouTube and watch a video of this guy pushing, you know, about some pretty cool loadout. You go ahead and use it and all of a sudden you're like, oh my god. I found my new favorite weapon. <laughs> well, this gun is the best. But what happened to the other one? Where you know it's the best? You know what I mean? So I don't think there's such thing as a uh, best gun. It's just a bunch of good guns that sometimes we uh, neglect to use. I try to use them all. Uh, of course, I do have my favorites. 
obviously uh, AK-5C it's my favorite because I like to keep my my um, firefights on long range I, I enjoy that you know we play here in a battlefield maps are big well I play them on TDM so not so big but I mean they're kind of wide open you know there's a lot of uh, a lot of line of sights. Uh, I like to keep everything in a lower range. I don't like to be really close to the enemy. You know, so it's a cluster and, 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 and all that because the guns in this game work kind of weird. And sometimes uh, one clip is not enough to kill one guy. Sometimes yeah, you get you get to kill two. Uh, sometimes you, you can. I don't know. It's it's pretty weird. So, you know, yeah, with, with that in mind, I like to keep everything in a long range, that way I feel more safe. And, uh, you know, I get to maybe flag the enemy. If, if I miss my shots, I'm able to run and hide and maybe uh, kill the guy from a different angle. You know, give me more choices to do things. So that's why I tend to use guns that are really good at long range. You know, the AKU-12 is pretty good. The AK-12 is you know, decent guns at a long range. You know, good accuracy It's pretty good. I'm not saying the other gun sucks, but you know, it's pretty good. The MG4, the LMG, it's pretty good. I think the MG4 needs some love, a bit more uh, stopping power there. But you know, it's pretty good guns at long range. If, I, if I'm gonna go to a medium range, you know, ACWR is pretty good. The Ace 21, Ace 52. So they, in the end, there's no, there's no one gun. But I do like the SG553. I do like the item sides of it. And uh, you know, I've been having a good time, you know, running a, a few sessions with it. And it's pretty good. So once again, I don't think this best gun is a bunch of good guns. You know, you can try different uh, loadouts. You can try different attachments. When it comes to attachments, it's I mean, there's no brainer on that. But I tell you that I don't use any weird uh, barrels on any of my guns. The only one that I use when I unlock it is the flash hider, which doesn't change much of uh, my my stats. You know, in, in the, 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 the the gun stats. Um, I just don't like the fact that you know some that some barrels, some attachments here, you know, messes up with accuracy and, and, and all the stuff and you know I just feel like I'm being punished by using a heavy barrel. So I don't think it's kinda stupid. Um, suppressor is pretty good. I do like the suppressor, but I don't like the fact that in this game I mean in other games kinda like it messes with the range, but in this game it's it's a bit ridiculous. I know and, and I'm aware uh, of the whole bullet drop thing, but not at these distances, you know. You can feel how gun, how weak a gun is when you're trying to kill a guy from across the street. You know, or maybe a, a medium range with a gun with a suppressor. You just, I don't know. It's kind, of, it's kind of weird. So I just don't like that. But I do like it when I'm trying to to flank the enemy. You know, where like one of those games where the enemy maybe being too campy and 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 all I want to do is just flank the enemy. And you know, just keep everything you know on the ninja side. You know, suppression is pretty good because I know that I, I'm not going to be looking for long range shots, so everything's going to be you know kind of like a, on a close range. So uh, suppression is it, it's it's good there. But uh, for the most part, I'm not really crazy about uh, any of the attachments, barrels, and all that. Um, like I mentioned in my previous video, I like these guns, uh, item sights. I think they're pretty good. And uh, if you use the, uh, any of the rented sides on uh, that uh, you feel more the uh, maybe kick and sway of the gun you know the, that little red dot moves too much because it's, the gun shakes obviously but when you use for example this gun with the atom sides you don't feel that much it's, it's like it's reduced a little bit so it's obviously you know makes sense so that's why I like it you know I, I, I like to feel it like have more control of my gun and I, in this gameplay in particular it was pretty good because I tried to play in a way where I was being aggressive but at the same time I was being defensive so I tried to stay or I was pretty much walking around the middle of the map <laughs> around the B flag you know trying to get some uh, trying to get some kills uh, you know, capture the flag when needed and, and all that. So it was a it was a bit of a defensive, but also some offensive work. So it was like a nice mix between the two, and uh, you know we managed to to dominate the the enemy team, and and that was that was that was the goal. You know, uh, win the game and and get a bunch of kills and have some fun. So um, once again, there's no best weapon. Is that is everything depends in, in in what we do, the way we want to approach the game. Uh, how we want to play, you know, whether you want to keep things on the long range, close range, uh, whether the map has a lot of uh, long line of sights, 
Um, you know, this this maps and and don't get don't get this this wrong. But um, let's say that the Gulmot Railway, you know, it's it's a it's a map where everything could be more to a medium to close range, right? So you can keep your firefights, you know, really close. So a gun that shoots really fast, you know, if you plan to be aggressive, is pretty good. If you, if you plan on, on getting those snipers on a kind of like a long range shot, you know, the AK-5C is pretty good and guns like that. Uh, so you, you plan accordingly to, to, to your skills and what you like to do uh, for the game, you know, also depending on the game, like you're playing TDM, obviously you know that you're going to be a bit more aggressive. So what's a good gun uh, to be more aggressive? You know, you can use the MG4, you get the advantage of you don't have to reload after each kill. After you can kill three, four, five guys with one uh, one round, run out with one magazine, or whatever it's to call in the LMGs. So you don't have to worry about that. So that give you some some sort of advantage. Um, but the, the problem that I have with the LMGs in this game is that they seem to be they seem to be a bit weaker on a uh, close range. I don't know why they don't kill fast enough when you're really close to the enemy. It's pretty weird. I don't know why. Maybe. It's, Bad servers that I was playing on. I don't know. Maybe the server was like from like the other side of the world. I have no idea. But uh, most of the times I get that feeling. And sometimes the, the the MG4 jams on me. It's like it starts lagging, and and, and the, the shots are not fluid. You know how it shoots really fast because that's pretty good fire rate. No, it's not fluid. It's just pretty weird. So I don't know. Sometimes the LMGs. I do it. I do like them. I do like the fact that they have a lot of rounds, so I don't have to reload after each kill. That's awesome. That's great. But you know, it's kind of tricky to use sometimes. Because sometimes they work pretty good. Sometimes they they don't. But anyways, thank you for watching. My name is Wild Child. Hope you enjoyed this gameplay, this commentary. And uh, and if you did, check out my channel, other videos. And I will be seeing you on the next one. I'm planning to post a series of videos where I'm gonna talk about strategy tactics and some uh, pretty good stuff so I'm pretty sure you'll be interested so keep an eye on my channel and uh, more pretty good stuff domination TDM and uh, you know some other stuff playthroughs pretty fun like I said thank you for watching and I will be seeing you on the next video alright later